Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today we're going to connect WordPress with Facebook fan page. So what that means is that when I post a brand new post on WordPress, it's going to automatically send it to my fan page. And if I wanted to, I could also do it to LinkedIn or to Facebook group. So let's get this connected first. So the first thing we're going to do is select WordPress. All right, so it's WordPress and it's going to be done when we create a brand new post. So let's create connect WordPress right here. And the thing that you have to do to connect is obviously put your credentials, which is the username and password and the link for the WordPress site that you're going to actually connect this. And you also have to install this WordPress plugin. So let's download that plugin right there. Let's grab this link right here. So we're going to have to grab the domain name like this without the WP admin. So you can see that information is right here. So do not include WP admin or WP login. All right. So in this case, let's put that right there. I'm going to put my username and a password for this site and I'm going to save it. Let me do that right now. And now let me upload the plugin that's provided. So it's the basic basic auth plugin that we're going to install right now. Now what we're doing right now is what you would have to do to actually get this working. Find that plugin right here, documents, so no downloads. It's basic auth master. So let's open that one, install. Wait for that to load. All right, so that's installed. That let's activate it, and that would that would be all you have to do right there. So wait for that to activate. Come on, baby. Sorry, my internet really sucks. All right, so that's activated. So let's go over here and we are connected. So let's save this right here. All right, so that's successful. Let's not save that right there. Uh, let's send a test request so that what that's going to do, it's find the last post that we've done. So if you did things correctly, you should be seeing this right here. So what this does is that it grabbed the last post that I've done because I haven't posted one right now after this. So you can see is the last one is on the 10th. So it was actually today. Yeah. So today the CID, the date, you got all these uh, key things that it finds a slug, a status, a type link. All this can be used later on to customize how you're going to connect with other things. So, all right. So we got that done correctly. Let's go to the plus button. And now we're going to connect to Facebook. So we're going to connect to a face page. And what we're going to do is create a brand new post when this is done. So it's a brand new post connect with fan page. And what this is going to do is going to ask for Facebook for the authorization. Since I already authorized before, it's not going to ask again. So it did that automatically. But if not, I would have to add the permission to say, yes, Public connect can connect to my fan pages. So once that's done, I select the fan page that I want this to be posted in. And in this case, I am going to post it to right here, SAS master. All right. So I got that there and now we start off. So what is the message that's going to be actually posted in there? So in this case, now we have all the things that it found on WordPress. We can select it. So in this case, the first thing I want to capture my audience with when I post is obviously the title. So that's what I would use the title. And then I would select, you could put some content there. Uh, it might be pretty long, but I mean, let's just do it for the purpose of this video. So you can see right there, it grabbed all that content. I mean, if it were really, really long, then you got a lot to do there. So that's something that we have to consider. And no, I'm not going to do content for this one. And let's do the, da, 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 the link. We want the link. Well, here's a link. So why would I want the link? Because when Facebook detects this post, it's going to create the link for you. So you're going to, if it has an image, it's going to grab it. It's going to post it there. We could also add the link right here if you want. This is optional. So let's save this right here. All right, let's save and let's do a test request. Let's wait for that. And we're going to go to the fan page where this is going to be posted. All right, let's start opening it over here and here it is, SAS Master. All right, still loading here. All right, there we go, successful. 
All right, and you have an API response, which is positive. So you got the ID and that's it. One, that's the one right there. So let's see if it actually posted or we're going to refresh right now in this fan page. Let's wait for that to load. All right, that's not the post. Let's go a little bit down. I know it really sucks my, all right, that didn't refresh. Let's refresh it right here and let's wait for that to load. We should see that post right now. down here it is that's actually it just now so in this case it didn't grab the uh, the link because I think it grabs some of this um, HTML code so let's fix that right now let me put another enter right here and let's put the link over here actually let's see what happens here all right let's save it Right, saved and let's send the test request again. And let me delete this over here. All right, let's delete that. Delete from page, yes. All right, let's wait for that to load. Okay, so that was successful. We have the new ID. Let's refresh this fan page. Now the good thing about this is that you get an idea of what you can do. And you can do the same thing with LinkedIn. Just send it over every time you create a brand new post it's got to automatically post it over here. So is this it? Yeah, just now. Okay, so now they like restructured because, because before it was working that way. So you can see there, it grabbed the link. We got the image from that link right there and I got the title. So we're grabbing the title right here and we have the image. So it's that easy. So what is this for? Like I said, so what you're gonna do is when every single time you do a brand new post on WordPress, it's gonna automatically post it in Facebook. Um, you can do this along with more. So you can now do LinkedIn, you can do Facebook group, so on and so forth. And as soon as you start adding more social media accounts, social media connections, you can post to them automatically. And one of the cool things, for example, here on this WordPress site that we actually did this, I have an automatic scraper. So I'm scraping some sites for affiliate sites. So for example, let's just say Amazon and I'm scraping those sites. So every time I scrape something from a, a new deal that's coming out, it's gonna scrape it automatically. It's gonna grab that trigger and it's gonna post it to the fan page. So that's a pretty cool thing to have. There you go, guys. That's how you connect your WordPress site to Facebook fan page. Thank you for watching.